Generative AI, the use of AI to create new content like text or images, burst onto the scene and into the public's imagination with the launch of ChatGPT in November of 2022. Since then, companies look for ways that generative AI might improve their products and services. Our own customers have asked us, can generative AI be applied to practical edge device applications where power and area are as important as performance? Our answer is yes, if. Let's look into it. First of all, given the power and area requirements for edge applications, you will want to choose the hardware solution that is most optimized for neural networks. That is a neural processing unit, or NPU. Second, generative AI models are based on transformer neural networks. Transformers have enabled generative AI because of their ability to better understand complex relationships between words or in text or pixels in an image. The NPU you select must be designed with transformers in mind. Now, an efficient NPU designed for transformers also requires complex multi-level memory management. Local L1 memory, a scalable on-chip L2 SRAM, L3 DDR memory. Often the challenge of moving data around outweighs the complexity of the computations. So tiling and fusion strategies and other hardware and software bandwidth reduction techniques are must-haves. Finally, an MPU needs software development tools to take advantage of all these generative AI friendly hardware features. You should look for a tool chain that includes the ability to do rapid exploration for neural network model trade-offs, like balancing your L2 memory size with your external bandwidth. All of these features are available on the Synopsys ARC NPX6 NPU IP offerings. So yes, the NPX6 can run generative AI for edge applications. But you might be asking, wasn't there an if to consider? The MPX6 can run generative AI models if you select a generative AI model with a reasonable number of parameters. GPT-4 with 1.75 trillion parameters will not be a practical choice for any embedded use case. However, models under 10 billion parameters, such as Llama 2, the 7 billion version, and Sable Diffusion are within reach of an embedded NPU. The second if is related to the system bandwidth. The NPU will be limited by the system's memory interface. For power sensitive applications, LPDDR memories will be the choice and they might have more limited bandwidth than say an HBM interface, for example. So yes, an NPU like the Synopsys ARC NPX6 can run generative AI algorithms if the system bandwidth can support the model chosen. Generative AI will continue to evolve and new models will continue to be developed. If you're interested in learning more about the MPX-6 and its ability to run generative AI models, please contact us.